Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Virtual Survivors After Show. I'm your host, Alicio. I play in season one where I got second out. However, thanks to her, I was the first juror ever. So take it away, yeah. Eve. I'm Eve. Um, I'm the winner of season one of Virtual Survivor. And yeah, we're going to talk on this after show and we'll be giving our opinions about the latest episodes of Virtual Survivor season two. Um, but yeah, a lot has happened just at the first episode. I mean, season one definitely was crazy, but honestly, season two kind of, it, it's really like, it's it's getting good. I can already tell, right? You get some quirky vibes in there. Yeah, definitely. We had introductions. I wrote some notes about some of the characters, not even characters, the players. I don't know if you have, but here, let me just literally read the notes you. that I have of like, Raul, is his name Raul? Yeah, Raul. Raul. he was yeah. like, he, the only thing I wrote about him is that he's from California. That's all I heard from his mic because it was just staticky. Um, did you get any information about Raul? Raul's, uh, he's in the Apple Gang, I believe. Apple? Which is an alliance. Oh no, we're not talking about alliances yet. I'm talking about like the very first time we see the contestants and then it was like Michael. Speaking of which, Michael, what is he doing oh my here? God. Michael. He's... No, I miss James. Honestly, I just, I just want to point that out there. Well, if James wasn't high, then you know we wouldn't have Michael. Literally, um, but yeah, Michael is hosting, and I'm really, I was shook, but then I'm like, eh, they need another replacement, so might as well. And I guess people were so excited to see Michael. Definitely, Michaela. <laughs> because like i swear in the episode um michaela's like oh michael i remember you you're like blah 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 michael, michael. <laughs> oh my god eve <laughs> jeez <laughs> no 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 i d i don't see it i think i think michael's no. yeah yeah michael's i i want to see him post i i don't know i just i see him where they're literally the same exact headset as you or something like that and like he's just on his bed he's like oh <laughs> Welcome, so, boys. First yeah. episode. First episode. But yeah, let's talk about yeah. um, Logan. No, okay, I want to talk about Logan later, but like, all I know at the start, I thought of him as like a plain type. I thought he was like the John Doe or something like that. I thought he was just. He didn't, he didn't stand out to me in any yeah. way. I like, he's not one of the guys I remember. As I like from was that. snoozing the whole time as he was speaking for yeah. his introduction, but you know, it's it's fine. For me, I, that could be off-putting because, like, I didn't have a confessional till like, episode three, so it could be employed by the editors, or it could literally be that he didn't. Is he gonna get the purple Kelly edit, edit, or what? I think that's going to Aiden currently. Oh, <laughs> Not gonna <yeah>. lie. <laughs> Aiden for sure. But yeah, yeah, let's talk about another guy, Nick. He's 20 years old. Um, from he wants to be a special ed teacher. I like Nick. Honestly, I feel like he is a good guy. I feel like he is doing pretty well with relationships as we proceed in the episode, but just based off first impressions, I really like him. He seems like the like the hero yeah. of the season, but also one of the top dogs, like I could tell. I think he's gonna make it far like he seems like he know he knows what he's talking about. He's got like a good head on him, so definitely I think he'll, you know, mm -hmm. work uh, out. Oh sorry. Um, I, sorry, I was like very excited to talk about this one particular person, Rebecca, 16 years old, clearly from the UK, and clearly oh, yeah. resembles one of the finalists from season one. Ooh. So, tell me about her, because you were a part of that alliance, Eve, BCG, Marco. Oh, really? I mean, I've talked to Rebecca a little bit, so I don't want to, you know. <laughs> Give you a personal... <laughs> give my personal opinion but like from a game perspective i don't think she's hiding her brother very well <laughs> yeah horrendously at that. not I think at that's all gonna cost her big time because if anyone's even seen season one they know mark is such a huge set and they could be like well they're connected which they literally are in the confessionals they know about her what i you can literally you can tell the chaotic vibes i love it absolutely love it audience surrogate but like she's got to keep that contained I feel sure, like 
Yeah, I feel like during the confessional, I was getting more of the same um, chaotic energy like Marco. I mean, I know this is a Survivor channel, but I'm talking about Big Brother right now because they did the same exact thing. However, Marco and Rebecca, they're kind, they're really similar. And Rebecca says she wanted to hide the fact that she's Marco's like sister. It's not going to last well. And clearly people are catching on. People from the other tribe, people from her tribe, everyone's figuring it out. And it's, it's just crazy. Um, let's talk about Jonah. He, the only personality trait that I really got from him is that he plays hockey. Like, he's Michael. Michael 2.0. Yeah. So I'm pretty Michael sure, 2.0. literally, Michael in season one was just talking about hockey. I feel like Jonah, he, I don't know. Like, I have furthermore to talk about him. First impressions, he's okay. I just, First I didn't First impression for me is kind of like average. I feel like he's more yeah. of a follower than a leader he get, he's um, giving me like Corey to like he's like Corey vibes somewhat right yeah but then if we look at how Corey is now we freaking like a beast the games a yeah. beast so you know there's potential but currently is kind of meh okay next one's Sorry. Andy he's 18 and he considers himself as the trashy Boston Rob like quote trashy Boston Rob I don't know how to feel about him. I don't. I, don't I mean, know. if you're a trashy Boston Rob, you ain't gonna win because, I mean, how many times it take Rob to win? So like, like three, four, something like that. I, I know it's like probably yeah, three, but it's, it's, it's a lot. He's played like seven, eight games. Boston so. Rob had to play a, like an all newbie season. It was like a challenging season for him to win, yeah. but like. When it comes to Andy, you ain't bossing a Rob. You none of that. Like, hold on, let me get my facts. I think straight. that's why there's wannabe because I think he knows in his head deep down. However, no, happening. not because I'm because later in the episode it was con people considered both Andy and Devin as threats. I just forgot who. I think it was Siri, 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 something like that. Siri, 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 I don't know, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, who else do we have to talk about? Tyler, 18. We thought he was Cody, um, honestly. Yeah. Um, that's all I gotta really say. I Devin, mean, a yeah. I don't know. I haven't really seen much of him this episode, besides the introduction. He's big threat or whatever. So. Definitely. Scott's um a wait, what did what's what did I write? It's a I got good vibes from Scott, but I think that's just because I liked his intro, honestly. I was like I feel like at first, I didn't like Scott. I like I, I didn't really pull for him. However, in the later in the episode, he's playing the game, and I feel like everyone's trying to be his friend. Like he seems like a good guy. He seems to be like the guy on campus. Doing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Kind of reminds me of like Marco trying to get himself like in the middle of everything. Oh no, Sebastian's Marco. Don't try it. <laughs> no, no. Think about it. Like Marco is in the middle of both alliances. Yeah. Scott's kind of. Oh yeah, he's in, he's in the same position. Yeah. Um, Victor, Victor, I just wrote he is a ch like chill. Oh, I I said he was plain. I don't know what I wrote, but I know I wrote plain. <laughs> uh, no, there's just nothing you know sprouting about Victor. Doesn't really stand out as like the character yeah. yet. But then it's only the first episode, so there's more to obviously. Yeah. See. And we have Josh. I'm sorry, not Josh. H W. What does that mean? <laughs> what? No clue. I think the only time I like he stood out to me was when Michael called him Josh, and he was like, "No, it's H W." H W. Like. He... And then Michael was like, "Whoa, sassy much." But that was like <laughs> the only time he even stood out for me. Like he was just in the background. I didn't know. Who I he was think. There. He thought he was like the Rick Devins or something <laughs> with that name, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I just can't. He's not, he doesn't stand out, he, but he's 17. That's all I wrote about him. Like that's yeah. introduction well, that's wise. Great. I don't know if I wrote anything else about him. I'm blinking still. I just got home, but yeah. Kaz, he's from Hawaii. He's 12. So he like, he, I believe he's the youngest contestant to apply. Renee point two. Literally, Rainier like 2.0, and then I wrote King, yeah. and I'm like, yes, yes, I was rooting for him. However, you know, later in the episode, yeah, I had such good vibes. I felt like he was really nice, and I, I don't know why, I felt like his he head wasn't really in the game. I just, for some reason, I, I don't know why. I, 
Yeah. It's Just... like I was looking up on it and it was like he was he's not really I don't know if it's like grasped the concept of like the game fully or or if it's literally just he got thrown the end mm. panicked mm. and messed it up really badly yeah i, I feel like it's probably the second one definitely but, yeah um okay so after the um introductions were done i'm sorry if i haven't spoke about everyone yet but apparently there was no pre-gaming whatsoever um definitely very like happy about that because there was a lot of pre-gaming on our season just so you know and yeah. none of that involves me but apparently it does i don't know where apparently gossip girl you know oh. people know about that now yeah. if you watch the Stop reunion show yeah. but yeah everyone just kept targeting me but i don't know i was like an early pre-game target so yeah drs yeah. um from kabe is that what it's called kabe it's like i'm lost with these tribes bro like Kabe, one of them sun one of them rise, sunrise. One of them sunset. Which one's Rebecca on? <laughs> don't look at me. I don't know. Um, but anyways, stop. so yeah. the first three, um, oh, you know, I already wrote their name, Kabe, and the the Kabe. first three yeah. like DRs from Kabe are Jonas, Rebecca, and James. And the only thing that was really discussed was an alliance consisting of Seb. Jonah, Raul, James, and Rebecca. Let me tell you this. I feel like Marco plants seeds in Rebecca's ears to work with Jonah. And I felt like Joe I feel like Jonah's kind of the the Kyle in this alliance where he's What? No 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 romance. Oh my no not like that, not like that. But seriously, <laughs> how I see it, yeah. Jonah has the most connections on this alliance. However, he's not taking charge for some reason. Raul, Raul's in charge of Which them. shocked me. I was like, people are listening to Raul. Sorry, and I'm like, is, isn't he on the other tribe? Like, gee, no, no, no. He's on the same like, tribe. Is it? No. Yeah. I thought Raul was with like... No, Raul okay, went to the I'm tribal happy. council. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about tribal council later, but... Yeah, other than that, the other tribe, there was more DRs. I feel like it's because we didn't see much, because they, the other tribe, Kabe went to tribal council and this tribe, they were just, you know, they're calm. They they won the challenge, they're fine. But let's talk about some of the players. Tyler, Tyler's DR, he basically was like, I have a possible three with Scott and Hudson. Then we have Scott's yeah. DR, my final two, it's Hudson, and um, whatchamacallit, they had a Snapchat alliance, and it seems like there's three yeah. outcasts between Ty, Michaela, Jesse. Dang, it's, it's Ty, you know, I feel like Ty feels safe around Scott and Hudson, and I feel like Hudson and Scott, they're playing everyone for some reason. Yeah, I've had experience with Hudson before, and yeah. So, no personal bias, but I know what this guy can do, and I think he's gonna be a huge threat. Um, if and I think he'll either go all the way or he's gonna get taken out way early because he knows how to play this game. And I feel like paired with Scott, if they can get off the ground, they're going, they're going far in the end, like, yeah. they're going far, yeah. Um, I, I don't know, I think I wrote that um, someone I don't know who, but I'm pretty sure in Hudson's DR, they want to make an alliance with. Vic, like they want Tyler or someone wanted to make an alliance with Vic, Andy, and C Red, whatever his name is. C Red, C Erd, you know. Um, but let's talk about C Erd for I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher his name this whole podcast until I finally get it right. But he's on to Rebecca, and I think he sees Devin and Andy as threats. Like he made that publicly clear in his DR. I feel like I don't know, I kind of like that energy and. Eve, Eve, your, your mic, I can't hear you. No, now I can't hear you. You broke your mic. Y'all, she broke her mic. <laughs> technical di issues, technical issues. Here, let's pause. Sorry for the technical issues. I actually, well, one, oh, yeah. had to turn on my light and Eve had to fix her mic, so yeah. Yeah. Um, but like we were talking about, I like the energy that C Red, whatever his name is, um, is like just Seared. 
seared, seared, sea red. Okay, seared. it's just it's giving... not sea red. That's I don't, I don't know, but all of a sudden, um, they're just in an alliance. Oh no no no! Andy's the one taking charge, right? Of that snapshot alliance. That's why I circled him because it seems like Andy's the one that's like wanting to t um, be the leader um, and trying to get rid of Ty, Michaela, Jesse. I don't know. If I that's think that's incredibly work. bold. I think that's incredibly bold. It's like You're, a very bold state. Yeah. He's literally playing. I feel like coming from me, he's kind of. I really hope he's not playing too hard, like <laughs> too soon. Like that is great if you can get a few people out, but like if you're the perceived leader and you are literally controlling, your other side is going to want to take you out as exactly. well as the other side. So you've got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I think, okay, I don't know why I wrote Kaz and Raul. I don't know if they were talking about each other, but yeah, they had DR somehow. Yeah. But let's move on to the challenge. It's called Matt Scramble or something like that. And the way it works is that it's basically a luck game. 20 cups, five of them have like freaking like circles or like whatever in them. And you have to guess which one. If there was rocks you, underneath. Rocks or something. They'll provide yeah. you hints. Um, the I don't know why I quoted this, but I'm pretty sure Michael's the one that said no cigar. I'm like, I don't know why I quoted that. I thought it was funny at the time, I guess, but yeah. It seemed like during the challenge, um, Scott and Seared, Seared, was carrying Seared. it for their team. Yeah. You know, that was good. I believe it was like a one point to a one point, a two point to two point. It just kept tying up. Yeah. Um, And then Devin, and it was clear and obvious that Devin and Nick have a close connection. If you look at the challenge, there's more than what is shown. Devin and Nick are definitely having a final two. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, Devin was like backing Nick up. He's like, Nick, Nick speaking, listen to him. I feel like Devin yeah. is a follower to Nick and could, it could happen. I just don't know. Yeah. Um, and then Nick basically won for their team. So that- I'd like to point out Kaz. Like Kaz was, he, like he was offering like solutions, like, it's very vocal in the challenge. Yeah, and, definitely. Like, and I was off like, his, like, but that like, also like, reminded me of Connor. You Connor, know what I mean? Yeah. Connor was very vocal in our first ever challenge. Connor literally carried our tribe. I got voted he out. Literally, carried you guys' tribe, and it was just like says says you who was literally a cat who had no idea. What <laughs> literally, like. I don't I don't get it. Are the people that are like getting voted out the ones that are more vocal, the mo the ones that ones are the like, more vocal at challenges? Like, vocal at challenges, vocal as in team, like trying to work together, like geez. Like I'm just still trying to understand the strategy. But like, you, I think you can be vocal if you've got a no, solid at this point, if I'm right. ever in a future season, I'm just just do this. Shut my mouth. Like not even help be like, out. And oh I'm, my god, he's scheming because your personality's like Literally, okay, and can we talk about Aiden? He wasn't even on, wasn't even on. Like, Aiden are, who? Who? I don't know what he looks who? like. I don't know, I, I forgot, you know. I, I don't know who he is. He uh, full on, he full on hold of this. Like, like what the heck? I don't get it. He's just gone. I mean okay. like, no offense, but like if I was doing that, I would make sure that he was gone. Like, I'm sorry, no offense to Aiden or anyone else, but you don't take out someone like you know Kaz is on the outs. You know these people are on the outs. You don't go and take out someone who is on the outs. You take Which, out someone yeah. who could be a potential number against you. Yes, yeah. he could be a potential number for you, but you've got a backup in Kaz. You've got a backup in whoever else you want to get out. Like it's really it was a dumb strategy to keep Aiden in. So now Aiden's got this yeah. Advantage I feel like. like I don't know. I don't know what Raul was thinking. Like Raul, you're my Mexican brother or not? But like, come on, you have to think about your tribe right now. You're keeping someone who's inactive. And I'm pretty sure he just didn't like Kaz for some reason. Like I had a yeah. really like wholesome like thought. I felt like Raul's strategy was personal, and I don't know if it was really personal. I don't think it was strategy. It was something. I. Felt like he wasn't thinking, and I felt like I, 
the only person thinking was Jonah. Jonah was like, why don't we get rid of Aiden? Kaz was on, he was talking, he was trying to help. And I agree. Um, I agree. Let's talk about the challenge too. It was luck. So the way people like, I don't know how people were thinking. I don't know if they were like, oh, Kaz just, you know, guessed wrong a lot. So he got to go like, yeah. Like, he was the only one on the tribe. He was, like, one of the only ones offering, like, practical solutions. Everyone else was just like, oh, let's just guess this cup. At least Kaz was thinking, oh, maybe if we do it, like, one in from the left and one in from the right. Kaz was actually right. One in from the left, there was a rock. He was right. But his tribe kind of ignored him. Yeah. I want to take back me saying Jonah's the only one not thinking. I will... I is the only one thinking, sorry. I would yeah. also want to give credit to Logan. Logan's smart, and I was not expecting that because he was like Seb's Marco 2.0. He caught on to Rebecca real quick. Seb is really confident, and I I agree. I just I feel like it's just we've seen it too much, and I feel like that might make Seb a target, or it might just get on my nerves. Like I handled Marco, I can handle probably Rebecca, maybe not Seb, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. like. Seb just giving me the wrong energy. I feel like he's not, I don't know if he is being himself or not, or at least he's trying to be up to this big player persona, but for me at to least- Yes, he's like a typical British lad, honestly, to me. Typical <laughs> British lad. Like that energy, you see it every day. You see it every day. Every day. So for me, it, yeah, for me, it's like normal. I like, I get it. But when you're in a game against people who are maybe less outgoing than you, you gotta like tone it down a bit and just kind of blend in or whatever. I mean, and either be yourself way, more comfortable. well, I can't really, I can't really say that because because the people in the final three, I mean, they American, they were Canadian and too Brit <laughs> for the last season, and then yeah. It, it could happen again, and I'm not underestimating them. I know one of them said you can't underestimate the Brits. I ain't, I ain't all I, European. Let's go. All European? European final. Anything. All European final. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I never underestimate nobody. Um, uh, I definitely underestimate Andrew. I will say that. But yeah, other than that, it's not. not really. <laughs> yeah. Um, however, it was revealed at Travel Council, Cavs was the one leaving. Um, it sucked. I kind of got annoyed at Rebecca just for that comment. He's the one to go. He's the one to go or something like that. When eight, when there was like someone pointed out Aiden. Oh, I was like you already know who's going home and if if that was necessary i mean if you were going to say that like, you should yeah maybe it. you're trying to divert kaz's vote or keep hope but like what is that supposed to do he, it's still early yeah, in the game he probably doesn't have an idol and i'm not gonna lie i mean i was not i was shocked that Nier found his but i don't know i didn't really feel the same energy kaz you know have. like it's the first episode realistically they're not going to want to do a last season give out a million advantages they're going to tone yes. it down so and they're not going to give one out on the first day like mm -hmm. they're not going to give an idol they'll give like a random like yours like steal a vote or something they're i don't know why give... my lights like doing a disco yeah. thing but yeah. hey let's go okay um yeah but they're not going to give an idol out so just don't say anything just like yeah Okay, but here's my tribal notes. HW, like, like I said, that's when Michael was like telling him to basically shut up or something like that. No, no, not even yeah. Michael telling him to shut up. It was basically HW, Josh. I'm gonna call you Josh. I, I don't care. Uh, no, sorry, I'm good. sorry, I'm sorry. I should be respectful. The inner yes, Alicia from season one's coming out, but um, but seriously, um, HW basically shut up Michael, like, it was funny. Um, yeah, Jonah yeah. and Raul called out Aiden, wait, Jonah and Raul called out, like, I don't know what they called out, but do you remember what they called out or no? Oh, no, they got called out. They were like, oh, you two were oh, the ones. the outcast alliance. Or something well, alliance. Like... Michael, what were we trying to do? Get this fucking out them? Like, I mean, I thought it was Raul, but not Jonah. <laughs> not Jonah. Like, I like Jonah. <laughs> Um, Aiden isn't there. Yeah, they talked about that. Kaz said, let him have a chance, which I think that was a really bad, I mean, he's seen, he's really sweet. I will give him that. I'm not. But for Kaz's sake. I think the main thing that undid Kaz was that. She should have pushed for Aiden and not Zeb. If he hadn't pushed for Zeb and he is pushed for Aiden, he would have stayed, most likely. Because no, because if you think about it, you know that you're, you know, no one's really 
speaking to you that much. You kind of get a gist when you're on the bottom. And then you've got someone who's inactive. Don't go and push for a player who's doing all right. Get rid of the player because as long as you can stay in for long enough, you can change your whole game. You just yeah. got to, you know, survive. However, at the tribal, um, my computer is not charging for some reason. I thought it wasn't plugged in. Are you kidding me? Oh my, oh my God. We're going to edit this out. Hold on. <laughs> Anyways. But we've got to talk about James and Goody, I think. I don't know. I don't know if his name's James. I This guy with headphones, with a beard. It's, I thought his name was Jerry, but anyways, James. Jess, wait, no, wait, no, 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 wait. wait it wasn't Jesse, wait. it was James, right? I don't know, it might have been Jesse. It was James, Hold it was on. James. Is it James? Yeah. Is there a James? Right. Okay, yeah. I think we should talk about James and Goody at some point because we haven't said anything about them. They were actually a tribal, so... Oh yeah, I don't know why. I feel like James is more of like he is. He's like the older guy on the cast, so he's just trying to survive with these youngsters. So I feel like he isn't really taking role. He's just more of listening. Like that's just my opinion on James. He kind of gives me Garrett vibes because, like, yeah, he's older, but I don't know. He's kind of like absorbing the information, and I think he can use that to his advantage. Advantage, which is like quite similar to what Garrett did as well. Like, yeah. I think that he's incredibly smart. I kind of get like really smart life from him, but yeah, we'll see where it goes because he actually really said anything, so. Oh, sorry, I was, I'm recording. Uh, Goody gives me Griffin vibes. Yeah, you know, he seems more like a vibes? follower than a, a Goody, I think his name is. Yeah, um, wait, who is even Goody? I, I, I don't see him the whole time. He's like the, he's like, he was in like the corner, he's kind of, just yeah. Oh, uh, he was kind just of there. silent, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I did. I don't know. So, I just, um, go ahead. Yeah, I, I don't know how to feel about Goody since I didn't take notes on him, but I'll definitely look out for him next episode. Um, but let's talk about the results at Tribal. It was a, probably more than five votes, but I calculated five votes and more. Um, Cass was the one to leave. Seb was the one that got one vote. Um, and that's like a cycle where Connor was that one vote and everyone just voted Con like Connor. It's the unanimous decision. Yeah. Yeah. It was a unanimous decision minus the person getting voted out. Um, and then Raul got yeah. his way. Go Raul, I guess. I'll give you credit, but you're gonna you're the yinny for me right now. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, seriously, Raul. Oh, respect for getting your target out. Do I think it was a smart move? Only. Only time will tell because I'm not in the game, so I don't know how the tribes align. So from the purpose of a viewer, like from the viewpoint, it seems like a dumb move. It seems right like a dumb now, move. But, but let's just see what happens. We know next. nothing. So, yeah. Yeah. But however, the episode was not over. I thought it was over. I was like, you know what, fine, whatever. Kaz slaps. Jesus. Yeah. Um then all of a sudden there was another thing. He's part of a twist and Cash joined back. I'm like, oh my god, redemption, redemption, please. I was like, come on. I saw you uh, popping off in the chat. You're like, oh my god, redemption. Like, and then it was more curious because he was able to gift an advantage to someone. And honestly, I thought he was gonna give it to someone else. I know who he was giving it to, but I swore to you, I was praying that he gave it to Aiden. I was like, they voted you out. Give it to Aiden. I don't care if he's inactive. He's gonna be the next target. Give it to him. Yeah. What did Kaz do? I gave it to Aiden. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. I was so proud of him. I felt as if, you know, the stars aligned. I was like, I don't even know who Aiden is. I like him more than the other tri mates, honestly. <laughs> Haven't even seen Aiden ever bro. in this whole episode. Don't I like you be him. hating on Rebecca, bro. I'm don't sorry, you Rebecca. Rebecca. You know, much love to you and Marco. However, Aiden's an underdog and I root for the underdogs. So, Aiden. I hope you don't go yeah. home and I hope your advantage is an idle clue or something like that. I don't know. Like I'm as blindly as y'all. Like I don't know anything that's gonna happen on the season. And I'll understand what's going on with this light. You see this? It's like a disco. You know what I wanna see? I wanna see that um advantage from when it's one where you just get to leave tribal. I wanna see it. Honestly. Like, I feel like that'll be great for him. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah. But, that yeah. would be great for him. Yeah. That would be also, great because um, I don't know why. The return like, of Declan. 
What about Declan? The return of Declan sitting in the corner. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> wait, hold on. Which so, is that? Oh my. Wait, so wait, Declan was sitting in the corner or something? Wait. No, when they were, uh, like, asking Kaz and stuff, he was just in the corner. Like, oh, Declan, wait, that was Declan? I thought that was Kyle. That was Declan. <laughs> Oh, wow. No, that was Declan. This is like y'all. I can't tell Caucasians apart. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I look like Kyle to you. Um, nah. Okay, good. But yeah, other than that, that was the episode. I'm set, definitely excited for your episode two. I kind of want to see the other tribes scramble a little bit so that Aiden, in a way, has more connections or more time to talk to people. Or will Aiden and I am show up next episode? Who knows? <laughs> Bro, if we just got the purple edit, just be like... The, the purple edit. I, if Aiden just ends up winning, you know, I guess <gasps> a little bit of respect, but not really. It really depends. Yeah. You know, there's episode one. Opinions, editing, it was great. Um, I think it definitely got better. Kyle's voiceover at the beginning, I full-on completely skipped over it. I was like... I was like, where's my... Kyle's phone? voice is pain. He, he sounded like a little girl because the accent, uh, not accent, the audio messed up. And then he just sounded like this little girl and I was like, oh my God, what happened to you? I made cameo though, I will say that. So thank you <laughs> to the editors. Yeah, I made a little yeah. bit of cameo in season um, two's trailer or episode one. So yeah, I'll take it. And other than that, um, episode was okay. I'll give it right now, like, because I'm sad that has got evicted or not evicted sorry wrong show evicted. eliminated um <laughs> i'll give it like a seven because it was a good premiere however the strategy from that tribe is just no way no i don't like it i think i'm gonna give it like a six because i feel like structure wise and content wise is better than ours but the entertainment wasn't quite there yeah. like as like well as it was last time but that might just be because our season's weird i don't know our season but, yeah. was full of like drama, like dramatic people. We gotta, we gotta stop comparing to our season, bro. We gotta. Yeah. I'm just saying, you but be they better provide the entertainment because no one could top my fights, any of my fights. Yeah. Because if y'all know, from the reunion show, I had an argument with Ginny, Connor, an unaired argument with like a couple of people too. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was yeah. very vocal. And I how many days were you in it? What two? Hmm? What? How many how many survivor days were you in it too? You know, second just, boot, you know, and you caused this many. I was like, in a I couple. Got best personality. Yeah. Like. I, I, yeah, just I was eliminated the second tribal. However, they can't compare to my personality. I'm the best character, best fight. Yeah, I don't know. It was just basically. A lot. I'm just waiting for someone to, you know, pop off completely go AWOL, something but, like that. Yeah, I do know some of the uh, players, like, I, from, like, other, like, games and stuff like that. Personally, I know someone's gonna pop off. I'm not gonna tell you guys because I want to keep y'all shook. I want to keep y'all, like, suspecting. But I don't know if they will pop off in this game for their personal sake. But I really hope so because I'll be entertained. And... Other than that, um, that's all I really want to discuss about. Final thoughts, Eve, or no? Let me just see. Not really. <laughs> oh, no. Keep that in, bro. I mean, like a pig, y'all. All right, anyways. Um, here, no, I don't want to yeah. see, I don't want to record myself chewing, so, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta do a different outro, bro. We gotta do a different outro. Okay, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the after show and we'll see you after the next episode's posted. I don't know. We don't have yeah. any idea. I don't have any idea. I have to like literally like yeah. hear her messages like freaking like blow up on my phone just to know the next episode's coming out. Excuse you. I Excuse was making sure you were there. Where is my proof? Um, she texted me on Snapchat. One second. Hey boys, let me, let me read this out real quick to y'all. Okay. So, no, okay, that's the end of our episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care and have a great, lovely rest of your day or night. Bye. Bye.